Hey, it's Dave. Got the fan noise in the background. Sorry about that, but it's a little warm out today. We get up in the mid 80s, which I'm not complaining. I enjoy it. So we're out here gonna turn some logs into usable lumber, planks of lumber, boards. And uh, I did one the other day with uh, mild success. The um, I used, let me show you, hold on a minute. Turn you around. Good morning, by the way. It's a beautiful day out here. So I used that rail, see right there, to position my first cut. And it did, it did all right, it gave me a nice flat surface. The problem is nine feet long, and this log that I'm gonna do next is probably 12, 13 feet long. And I don't wanna lose that much of it, so I'm gonna try something a little bit different. We're gonna use the beam cutter to make a flat surface and then put on the milling attachment. And so uh, first thing up is to get that, that bigger log turned and positioned up. Um, setup takes more time than the actual cutting. All right, so I did say this would be somewhat humorous. I gotta also say, last one did not roll off the end, so, but that's my fault, because I should have put something to block it once it was rolling, and I had nothing. There's no way I could stop it, so we're gonna try to push it up this way, see where I go. Enjoy. Like a charm. So I leveled, I leveled these boards um, crossways, and by using a little board here, so I attached it to the end of the log, that end on, and then repeated the same thing at the other end. So this beam um, is steady, and so off we go. All right, Dave. Out.
All right, so I got my setup. Um, logs turned over, gonna do the first pass. Trying to get a little over an inch thickness on the log on the board. So we'll see what we come up with. So uh, hopefully it works out. Um, let me get rolling on it and we'll see where we go. All right, babe out. Hey, it's Dave. Out here at the property. Yay. It's May 24th. Just a few days before we head out on the, the big trip. So, uh, anyways, I, hopefully I can get two days out here this week. Today I want to finish up what I started last week and then ran into all kinds of problems. So, and the reason I didn't get it recorded is because my cameras, my phones, and well, my phone and my iPad both overheated. So he stopped filming. And um, in the middle of cutting the uh, last cut I made on this log, which I'll turn around and show you here in a second, um, the uh, gas line broke on the chainsaw. So I <laughs> started leaking gas everywhere. It was a fiasco. So I was able to finish the cut. Luckily, there's only like four or five inches left. And so by putting some gas in the very bottom of the tank and holding it a certain way, I was able to finish the cut. Um, I repaired the chainsaw over the weekend, and so <sighs> I'm back out here. Now, that gas line has been on that chain saw on this still MS390 since 2004. So, hey, I cannot complain. So, anyways, let me show you what we're gonna do. Hold on a minute, turn you around. Dave out. All right, so there's the board. That's where I left it. I maybe got two, two more boards to cut out of that. Maybe three. We'll see. And then I gotta still gotta hook this up to the chainsaw. Sorry for that fast movement. That's the chainsaw, and first gas and oil up the chainsaw. Then we'll be ready to get started. So we're ready. 
I'll get that one done. If I can get another one up and going today, that'd be great. That'd be a good day. Um, Cause it's so hot. It's supposed to get in the low nineties, high eighties today. Um, like yesterday, it's not really much of a breeze. I'm trying to take advantage of shade right now. So anyways, let me get at it. And Dave will be back. Hey, it's Dave. So, about ready to wrap up the sawing part for today. Got one more chore, but let me show you what we got done. We made some good progress today, and I learned some stuff. So, we'll talk about that here in just a second. So, let me get up and show you. All right, hold on a minute. I'm gonna turn you around. All right, so I got a new log in. Not new, well, from the pile, moved one more over. So, next time we come out, we're ready to hit it and if you remember right we'll use the beam cutter to make a flat side and then I can cut off of that so that was one of the things I learned I bought this rail system and it works there's no doubt about it it works fine the problem is it it just it gives me a precision I don't really need and so um, I can be faster with the beam cutter on the first cut and so that's why I do it and it gives me uh, what I consider flat enough edge um, surface to work from. All right, so what we got done, we're sitting on that one log, gave us a five and I'm gonna say a half because that last board right there has, it's a half round. So and then underneath that is four and a half boards there's one other, it's a fifth board, but it's not really usable because it's too crooked. So I didn't do a good, good enough job of sawing on it. So anyways, uh, <clears throat> so there we go. Um, they are fairly consistent. All of them are coming out about an inch is what I was wanting. Uh, I also learned the technique and you can see it kind of in the saw marks. I'm trying to always keep a point. I go, you know, push on one end let it well actually I'm not pushing it cuts it pulls on the saw blade on the saw motor end and then I let turn it or pull it back and then let it pull itself on the end of the blade on the chain end and it pulls it so you get this crisscrossing pattern but when I did straight like those two boards back there I kind of cut them just straight across mostly those took about 20 minutes a piece 
these rest I did in about 12 minutes a piece. So I saved like eight minutes by doing that. And my chain is lasting a whole lot longer that way. Um, it, cause it, I think it more m mimics a cross cut, which is the kind of chain I got. So anyways, the lesson I learned there, but the last thing I got to do is cut some cookies. So I'm going to take a, a little frog, um, right there. So I take a, one of these logs and probably that one right there and uh, cut some cookies for, uh, a student of my wife's who's a wood burner. He wants some small cookies. So I'm just going to use that one right there and cut them real quick and get that done. And then I'll be done with the wood pile, the wood area for today, because it is smoking hot. All right. So anyway, so back in the shade a little bit, and I can see a little bit now. The glare is just horrible on these iPhones. I, just, I can't tell what I'm filming or recording. I don't think they call it filming. Anyways, so... Um, so that probably will wrap up my segment on uh, making lumber. I've got several logs left to do, uh, but I've got enough film and I, I um, can share the basics again of what works best. I learned a lot in a matter of just doing two logs. The fact I can go from 20 minutes down to 12, I mean, you're making some progress there. And these are oak, so they got some, uh, they got some, um, strength to them and so uh you know they're tough to cut and so i you know i feel pretty good at you know 12 minutes that's a board that's not unreasonable so uh anyways and all the rest of them are much smaller than those two uh the diameters down these are probably 10 inch diameters for the most part 10 to 12 at the biggest as opposed to you know what we we're cutting on the other ones so um Anyway, um, I think that'll wrap it up. So, like I always say, uh, well, a few things. One, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the this video, just hit the like button. And uh, but it's cool if you don't, man. If you, if you didn't like it, that's all right. And if you don't want to subscribe, don't. That's cool too. But I'd like it if you did. It makes me feel good. But it's not about me. Definitely not. And uh, remember to make kindness your business. That's the most important thing. If there's any lesson uh, to take from this, that'd be the number one. Make kindness your business. Share some kindness. Share the love. And, uh, and things will get better out there. They'll get better every day. And you'll feel the difference. All right. So that's it for me. Hey, Val.